Hi everyone, Stacy Weider here on behalf of Campus Mortgage with a quick review for you on VA loan, loan closing costs. What's included in the lender's 1% flat charge? Now just a quick reminder before we get started, this video is for informational purposes only and should not be considered legal advice or used in place of VA guidelines. Also, this video was created on March 27, 2017, and the information contained in this video is subject to change without notice. When it comes to fees to the borrower, VA regulations limit the fees the veteran can pay to obtain a mortgage loan. Lenders must strictly adhere to the limitation on borrower paid fees and charges when making a VA loan. Here are the maximum charges calculations. The veteran can pay a maximum of reasonable and customary amounts for all, for any and all of the itemized fees and charges designated by VA, which I'll show you here in just a second, plus the 1% flat charge by the lender, plus any reasonable discount points. So let's look at some common itemized fees and charges. Now this is not an all-inclusive list, but the most common. Appraisal, recording fees, credit report, prepaids for taxes and homeowners insurance, hazard insurance, title exam and insurance, VA funding fee, flood certification, survey, so those are some of the common itemized fees and charges. Now let's talk about the 1% flat fee. This fee is intended to cover all the lender's costs and services which are not reimbursable as itemized fees and charges. And they must be charged by the lender based on the following calculation. So what the lender would do is base the 1% on the principal amount of the mortgage after adding the funding fee to the loan. Now here's what's included in the 1% flat fee. Loan application or processing fees, lenders appraisals, lenders inspections, loan closing or settlement fees, document prep fees, attorney fees other than for title work, interest rate lock-in fees, postage or other mailing charges, escrow fees, notary fees, commitment fees, trustee fees, tax service fees, and finally, third-party fees. Well, that's all for now. Thanks so much for watching. For more tips and videos, please visit canvasmortgage.org and look for their weekly mortgage video tips designed for all mortgage professionals, including underwriters, loan officers, processors, closers, and post-closers. Have a great day. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.